Hello, welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil Director's Cut Part 2, I do believe. Um, in the last episode, we made it up to the typewriter room, and we are going to go ahead and load up the file. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. I don't know what it is about that, but I just love it when someone when it's when a game says that like you have entered the world of like if only the world of if the world of Warcraft would do that I would play that more often. But I can't really right now afford a Warcraft account, so yeah, not for me. I meant to do all this beforehand. Golly, I had my my, my speakers turned up loudly. Now, as of right now, we don't need this, but it's going to go ahead and go in the inventory. Um, sorry, this is just preparing I should have done before, at the end of the last episode. Since there's a green herb outside, there's really no need in getting that. Um, first aid spray. <sighs> so how you guys doing? It's, uh, hold on, let me find out what the, what's today's date. Today is Wednesday, August the 1st, um, at 4.02 p.m. Eastern Time, and I'm playing Resident Evil. This game has, po has to be possibly one of the games, that, the only game that has really aged well for the PS1, except for the control scheme. Zombie! Die! He's dead. Awesome. Okay, there you are, zombie. Are you dead? Yes, you are. You are dead. You are deader than dead. That didn't make much sense. Deader than dead? Now, in the harder modes, there would be a zombie in this little corridor right here. But there's not. And the only reason I'm coming in here is because there's an item I need. Not an item. There will be eventually. It's just to grab an herb. If you want to really stockpile herbs, do it at the beginning of the game. Because it's a lot easier to dodge zombies and... Not really dodge zombies, but... If you're playing in the beginner mode like I am, take them out. There's plenty of ammunition. Like I said, I had over the ma over the max amount in my gun. Oops, zombie. See, he wasn't dead. Thank God for auto targeting. <laughs> now for some, <coughs> excuse me, had a hiccup. Ah, here's our first file of the game. It's the botany book. As you may know, there are many plants that have medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength. The blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red one does not have any effect by itself. The red one is only effective when it is mixed with the other herbs. For example, if you mix the, this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicine, but I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. That's your book of the day. I'm gonna start doing a little, not a little set, not a segment, but a little couple of seconds at the end of each episode. I've got to start coming up with obscure stuff to say. I want to start coming up with obscure words that really nobody knows about, and if they can find the definition for it, they'll get a a clap. You're not. Ah, oh, you stepped on me. I mean, I stepped on you. 
and I just kicked off your head. That's my health like. Didn't take me too far down. That's a good thing, because usually when they grab you, even if they're on the ground and they grab you, they tend to do a good bit of damage. Hoop cutscene. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I've got I this. Have this. Thank you. I'll, I'll take, take this, this then. then. Stupid Jill. Oh, he get. Oh, I was meant to talk about that before I, the item box disappeared. We will go into it now after he leaves and we get our control back. Okay, these are acid rounds. Powerful rounds for the bazooka, but we don't have a bazooka. See, in the in the in the norm in the original and arranged mode, you only get six acid rounds. But in beginner, they pretty much double your um ammo capacities. Not ammo capacity, but how much ammo you wind up finding is doubled. I swear, I love item collecting. Don't you? Oh God. I didn't know you could actually get to here without triggering the... Let me, uh... There we go. Oh, it's Forrest! He's been pecked to death by crows. Oh, run away. Time to run away. Run away. Run away. Crows are evil. Crows are evil. I'm serious. I cannot stress that enough. Crows are evil. Now, I'm not 100% sure as to why they put this little corridor, extra corridor there. Because it leads to nothing. They could have just left it at that door, at that, at this door, and they could have stopped the corridor at that door. Everything would have been funny. It would have been good. Oh, I still wasted a bullet. See, I knew he Oh, don't point at him. Oh, I'm s wasting bullets. Ah, oh, get off me, get off me, get off me. Oh goody, you're dead this time. What's my health looking like? I could ha probably handle another hit or two. If y'all hear that in the background, I, my speakers are turned up. I can't really turn them down right now. We're going to be coming back to this statue later. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oop, I think it broke. deal with in here. Zombie! Hey, his head just went boom. Zombie! Now, the explosive rounds, you can waste them as soon as you find them, because they aren't worth anything. The rounds that automatically come in the uh, bazooka, in any way that you find like it, you can pretty much just waste them. Because they're, they're not important for nothing. Okay, I've got two left. Let's see who I can waste this on. Okay. 
Okay, here's save room number two. The I think it's like the only other save room inside the mansion. Yeah, so we gotta go through the whole game just with just with these two save rooms. And oh, there's an ink ribbon right there. And the ink ribbons are still in my inventory. I never put them up. Yeah, well, um, yeah, we can go ahead and put the bazooka and the acid rounds up for now. Um, before you leave this room, though, you want to take the chemicals with you. Mm, excuse me, I had to force that belch out or it was going to hurt for a while. Ooh, I don't have a gun equipped. Zombie! Die! 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 Oh, you're not dead. Now you are. You're not dead, neither. Now you are. Now, this room right here I will be coming back to off screen, and you'll see why as soon as we can get a clear path. I'd love to go show y'all why, but as you can see, those tentacles are in the way. We have to find a way to kill them, and it turns out the only way to kill them is to use the chemicals in the water supply. Now, if I, if I remember correctly from what a buddy of mine told me, in the remake version, there's a lever that tells you which way to turn the poisonous chemical. You can turn it to the left, which would affect the tentacles, or you could turn it to the right, which would destroy the items. Look at all them herbs. Look at all them herbs. Now, unlike the remake version, once you leave here, zombies won't come crashing through a window that's not even there. The remake LP will not be coming anytime soon. I'm going to go. I'm going to make sure I've gone so long. I've been away from the game for so long that it would still be considered blind to me. I do not want to know what I'm doing. I do not want to know anything about what I'm doing. I want to just blindly play the game. How games were meant to be played. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is for people that get frustrated frustrated with the games and don't want to uh see there's the bro there's what you have to have that broken this right here the uh oh that's a clip never mind um this right here the broken shotgun you have to have this in order to get the shotgun if you're playing as Chris however since we're playing as Jill we don't need it because as you may very well may know what as you as you may well know no, Chris doesn't have Barry to uh, keep him from becoming a Chris sandwich. And in this drawer, we have shotgun shells. Which. I'm gonna use one of these herbs. I didn't mean to click on that key. There we go. One, to get my health back, and two, because we need an extra inventory space for. Because we're gonna go get the shotgun. Yep, it's time to start playing with my shotgun. Hey, we're only at 14 minutes. Awesome. <sighs> so let's see, where is it? Shotgun, there you are. Oh, by the way, this is called the shield key. This one is the armor key. Light silver is armor, red one is shield. The shield does not get used for a long time. The only reason I got it as early as I did was because um, I wanted that infernal ticking of that clock to stop. And that's the only way to stop it. So let's go ahead and equip the shotgun. Let's 
Sorry if you heard that I had to scratch my arm, it was itching. So if we go in this room, we can find lots of things. Not those kind of things, but lots of things. Like, <gasps> handgun ammo! 168 plus 5 in the gun. And free. Hey, look, another book. <gasps> Zombie! No. That didn't last very long. I'm sorry, it was force of habit. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. May 9th, 1998. I had to re resave it for a second. At night, we played poker with Scott the Guard, Alias, and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs, and pulling the guts out before they actually ate it. Around May 11th, 19... Wait, did the, I meant to say May 10th, 1998, at the top of that one. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit. Protection suit that looked like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder these re those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed the dog those dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th, 1998. <clears throat> I went to the medical room because my, my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear a spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet this, since this morning. Which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped at the, by the guard on the way out. <clears throat> Excuse me. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the ground. The grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? <clears throat> Excuse me. May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the man from this mansion last night was shot. My entire body feels burning and itchy last night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh fell off. Dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy, tasty. So basically, that was showing how how long it took him to uh, progress into a zombie. The fact that he was able to still write and talk is amazing. Because you know, well, it depends on which zombie world you would be living in. Resident Evil, the safest place would be, be in between in between the top and bottom of stairs in, in a room with a typewriter. Dawn of the Dead zombies, you wouldn't be safe nowhere. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this item. Before the t before my timer. Yeah, I'll run this episode a little bit long too. Not too much longer than, the, not too much shorter than the last episode. Maybe about one or, like one or two minutes shorter. Let's try to stop it at 21 instead of 22. There's nothing inside. But what's this blue thing then? And this is the blue, e the blue emerald, the blue jewel. Emeralds are green, I think. I think they're all green. If you if you would listen, if you would have listened carefully in the in the dining room. There was no ticking. I love that. But there was no ticking. Hmm. 
Now, the, the first thing you want, you're wondering is, what do I do with this blue jewel? Well, it turns out it's in this little hallway right here. You take it and you put it in this tiger statue. There will be a file sometime later in the game that tells you to do this. But I already know how to do it, so I don't see a reason in not doing it. And we get the wind crest. Hmm, that's the first item like that we've seen. I think technically this, this crest right here was the last one you're supposed to get. Or it may be the first one. I'm not 100% sure about that. You'll have to take that up with the Resident Evil wiki page or something like that. So, it's time to end the episode. I'll meet y'all in the... No, I won't meet y'all. Y'all can just watch me run. I'm still having trouble figuring out what to do with my ArcSoft. I can't really edit my audio. I can only trim video. Okay. Now in the next episode, um, well, first things first. Let's put this. Uh, let's put this crest up. Okay. In the next episode. We'll go around and see if we can't find some more of those crests, and we'll possibly uh, finish unlocking the, all the doors that the uh, mansion, that the armor key, can open. This has been Card MJ. Do your money, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment, favorite, you know, all that good stuff. And please, I'm asking you, if you like the video, please hit that like button down at the bottom of, at the bottom under the video player. This has been Card MJ. Do three signing off. Have a nice day.